as they play Indonesia in the bronze medal match right before the battle for the gold between Vietnam and the defending champions, Thailand. Mabuhay Pilipinas at marami. Number 10, Agustin Mulandari. Setter number 13, Adri Retno Muniara. Opposite hitter number 15, Hani Buniarti. Middle block and their team captain number 17, Wilda Normandila. And their libero number 1, Yulis Indayani. Head coach for Indonesia is Octavian. Let us now meet the starters for the Philippines. Outside hitter number two, Elisa Valdez. Outside hitter number six, Cesc Molina. Opposite hitter number seven, Mylene Paat. Middle blocker number 10, Majoy Baron. Setter number 12, Gia Morado. Middle blocker, their team captain, number 18, Abi Maranyo. And their libero, number 5, Don Makandili. Head coach for the Philippines is Jack De Los Santos. It is time once again for all of us to come together and believe in the impossible. Believe that we can it's overcome Indonesia every obstacle that we have faced here in these 30th the Southeast Asian Games. Our women's volleyball team Southeast has yet Asian to pick Games up a win in this tournament, but this is still a great opportunity to end the tournament on a high and with a bronze medal. You know, Anton, rising above the ashes is not something new for every Filipino, whether it be in history or in recent history like what we witnessed last night. We know that at any moment, we can always overcome whatever we're going through. And that will be the story once again for today as we watch our women's volleyball team taking on Indonesia. And it's good to see that our team captain, Capitana Abi Maraño, is in high spirits, all smiles, and ready to go para lumaban para sa Pilipinas. Now, in terms of the lineups, I'm not surprised that... Three Retno Mutiara Lufti is starting for the first time here in this match because ganyan naman yung estilo ng ibang mga nations. Meron sila mga tinatago para hindi masyadong mascout. She was the best setter in both legs of the ASEAN Grand Prix held in Thailand and in the Philippines this year. And for the first time here in the SEA Games, she is starting for Indonesia, the 22-year-old setter sensation. There has yet to be revealed on the side of Indonesia. Hindi natin alam ko ano pa yung mga bala na tinatago na ni coach at ng buong team ng Indonesia. But we also don't know what the Philippines has done since their last match versus Indonesia. Two days has gone by, so a lot can happen. A lot of adjustments as well. At eto makatapat ni Mutiara si Gia Morado. Too strong on that serve for Gia. But Gia also started the last match against Indonesia. Coach Shaq de Los Santos making an adjustment after going with the veteran Rhea de Makulangan in the first two matches here in these Southeast Asian Games. Now, Michelle, how do we stop Ratri and Megawati, who have been averaging 12.3 and 20.3 points respectively in this tournament? You know, Anton, blocking is very important now for the girls. But in that last game versus Indonesia, nagagawa naman nila ng paraan na ma-dig, ma-block. We tied at seven blocks in that last game. So as long as we can produce the same output as these players, kaya natin makipagsabayan dito. So napaka-importante lang talaga na makareceive tayo at makapalo tayo to set up our own plays. And to get off to a strong start, mahirap na na maiwanan ng Indonesia sa simula pa lang ng laban. Indonesia unable to send that back to the Philippines. Alisa Valdez scored 22 against Vietnam, 14 against Thailand, just two points against these Indonesians. Now in better condition, Alisa Valdez hoping to be her usual self. Here's the back set. Ball is still alive. Morado. Pupuntahan si Molina who goes cross court. And Cesc Molina will get the ball. point. 
way above the blockers. First jeopardy right in front of him. The action. Calling that a check ball. Cesc Molina averaging 8.2 points per match in the tournament. She had 13 points in that last game versus Indonesia. If we have the same numbers for the likes of Cesc Molina and Majoy Baron, Mylene Paat, we can really keep up with this star-studded team as well that we're going up against. Tatlong manlalaro, umabot sa double digits. Molina on a combination play. The blockers were there, but the power of Cesc Molina going through the double block of Indonesia. Ito yung mga combination plays, Anton, na hahanap-hanapin natin in today's game because ito yung kailangan natin makita going up against a much taller blocking team such as Indonesia. The combination plays will work perfectly for Team Philippines. And Gia Morado went with a running attack earlier for Majoy Baron trying to mix it up para sa Pilipinas. There's the hit. And Megawati, 20.3 points per match. She is the ace of Indonesia. But the Philippines has been dealing with players like Megawati in the first match. Nakita natin si T4. It's just a matter of trying to tire her out. Not an easy task, but somehow we have to get it done. All starts with a good reception for Team Philippines, something that we really struggled with versus Indonesia. And Indonesia had a big edge when it comes to services, serving service aces in that game. So that will really set the tempo for our for our game today as the server seed of Team Philippines. Long back set for Mylene Pat. Blockers were there from Indonesia. Iba balik ang bola kay Mylene. Solid blocking by Indonesia. She really was the highest pointer in that last game versus Indonesia. So, kailangan alam din ng mga players na siya rin ang babantayan in today's game. And to be quickly adjust and to have that quick adjustments for those rotations. And Wilda Fadila, the captain of Indonesia, playing with a lot of energy to start this match. But a service error right there committed by Budyarti. Mylene Paat playing well as of late, especially in the last two matches. 11 points against Thailand, 14 as you mentioned against Indonesia. Papalik ang bola sa Indonesian side. Here's the toss. Here's the hit. Makandili could not get to that volleyball after that Megawati spike. Megawati just seeing the hole at the opposite side of the court. Masyadong malaki yung, yung, yung tinatakpan na butas doon sa likod hindi na abuta ni Don Macandili but Megawati yung pag siya tumalon Anton when she gets up in the air and spikes the ball with the power that she has she really sees the opposite side of the court and knows where to score a point such a talented spiker Megawati is and I'm, I'm more impressed Michelle with her age she's only 20 years old so yung development talaga ng mga volleyballista sa Indonesia is very impressive as we have a challenge right here. Indonesia, ball in, ball out. It's great to see such young players stepping up into an international court. So much promise also in the younger generation of volleyball players here in the Philippines playing. Talagang, it's a bright future for all the volleyball players and all the athletes the that you've seen performing here in the SEA Games. Unsuccessful challenge right there. So the point will go to the Philippines as Cesc Molina troops back to the service line. Para sa ating kuburan, Molina floats that one safely to the other side. Indonesia will go for a hit. And Ratri, the other player averaging in double digits from Indonesia. Side spikers, Michelle. And really with a high percentage, when you need a point and Ratri is up in front or Megawati is up in front, you really have to go and put up a double block for them. That creates up their teammates with just one block and more chances of scoring a point. Maranio. At the first technical timeout, because of that service error, Indonesia will head into this technical city, the battle for the bronze between the Philippines and Indonesia.
And what can you say about this sudden start of the best setter in the ASEAN Grand Prix this year? Dito lang siya stinart ni Coach Octavian. We don't know, Anton, why she didn't start with the number one team in the league like Thailand and Vietnam who's playing for the gold. So now they're probably also threatened with Team Philippines or maybe she's been suffering something in the past. We really don't know. But now that she's starting and you see the connection she has with her spikers, it's still there. It's still consistent. So just goes to show that anybody from the side of Indonesia being put in by the coaching staff really contributes and they swak sila sa rotation. Meanwhile, we need a lot more of that from Alisa Valdez spiking in between the two blockers for the kill. Here's Alisa with a hit going down the line. Ball is high up in the air. There's the spike from the opposite side. Molina cleaning things up from the back row. Mylene Paat making something happen for the Philippines. Great turn there by Mylene Paat going down the line. Trying to mix things up a bit. This left-handed player really, Anton, has stepped up and showed the Philippines her caliber in this international court. Because being the highest pointer in last game and now stepping up, you see the fire in this girl's eyes. Here's the back set. Going cross court. Does it go long? Yes, it does. We are tied at eight. Three straight points for our Philippine women's volleyball team as Gio Morado returns to the service line. Substitution for Indonesia. Number 13 out. Number 8, Misha Amalia in. And this is what we were just discussing, Michelle. The sudden start of the young setter Mutiara. Now, Coach Octavian is going back to Tisha, Amalia Putri Tisha, who has started for Indonesia in the first three matches. Makes you wonder, Anton, but Coach Octavian is not taking any chances, especially with that run, three points by the Philippines. Going with what earned them the win in their last match, running attack, blockers were there at the top. Another chance, they go to the other side. And Budiarty breaks down the wall. One you point talked right about, away, Anton. You talked about how important blocking should be, Michelle. And as long as it, it doesn't have to be a block point, Anton. You know, as a blocker, as long as you just slow down the ball, a lot more can happen in the back row defense of the Philippines, which we're better and we're improving at. If you can't stop it with a block on the net, then you can stop it with a defense and convert into an offense point. Eliza Valdez managing to break through the block on that instance. Eliza scores her first point here at set number one from the opposite position, targeting the deep cross court. What a tough angle, Anton, to reach. Valdez has got her game face on today. Here's the response from Megawati. Ball goes back to the side of Indonesia. Megawati off of a broken play. The defense of the Philippines, Megawati has been going through that exact same spot, probably scoring her third point in between the middle and the libero. And something that they really have to take into consideration and adjust to. There are really those exceptional players. Na itas mo na lang ang bola, they'll find a way to make something happen. And Megawati obviously is, is that girl for Indonesia. Mapa, broken play, fast set combination play. Megawati has been so consistent. One of the highest scorers of Indonesia throughout this conference. 11 to 9, but the Philippines staying within striking distance here. Here's the pass. Here's the toss. Here's the hit. But the blockers were there. Indonesia looking very Timeout loose to start this match, Michelle. They're also very confident as well after that game last time versus the Philippines. You're going up against your same opponent that you've beaten in four sets. It really gives you that source of confidence. And they were podium finishers in the last six C games. So they want to continue that trend. Morado. Babalik ang bola sa Indonesia side. Naunahan yung mga blockers. 
if you can stop them with a block, Anton, you have to be able to convert in those passes that we're getting from the service. So we cannot take any chances to have rallies here because the firepower of Indonesia everywhere from, the, from their side of the court is just working right now in their favor. Indonesia with another chance. And they score off the block, Hani. A better touch there from the blockers of the Philippines, says Molina, but too much power on Hani's spike, sending that one out of bounds. Agustin. Valdez, Morado, quick attack. Great play there, Anton by Gia Morado going to Madroy Baron. Those quick attacks can only be utilized when you have a good receive. And that is the most important thing right now for the Philippines is to be able to pass the ball from the services of Indonesia. But definitely Indonesia is not making it easy. Wow. The offense of Indonesia just humming here in this first set. And a great adjustment by coach Octavian to bring back in Amalia Putri Tisha, who we have mentioned has been starting for Indonesia. This was the only match that Indonesia had start. It was very timely as well. When the run of the Philippines and the run of the the Tayo game. Dun yung pinasok yung manibagong score. Yung manibagong setter. Second technical timeout. The score is 16 to 10. Another great play. Indonesia. Indonesia leads the Philippines 16 to 10. Been your teammates, your friends. In a situation like this, what are the kind of words that go around to try to motivate each other to get back in the match? First of all, you just have to look to yourself first. You have to look to yourself what you've been through to get here. Lahat ng pinagdaanan as a team. And you draw strength from that. And especially now that you're not only wearing your school or your club team in front of you, you're wearing the national flag. You look to everybody inside the arena cheering for you. And you also draw courage from that at times like this that you're down seven points. You have to be able to look for inspiration. And right now, Indonesia just building on that momentum, the biggest lead of the match timeout, for them. Philippines. As Coach Shaq de los Santos calls a timeout. The reception once again, Indonesia really... Eliza Valdez. And they've been marking Mylene Paat as well. Mylene Paat being an opposite spiker, not really in the reception side of the Philippines but when it comes to the offense talagang chinecheck at binabantayan siya but that single block was not enough for Mylene Paat finally getting the Philippines back on the scoreboard for the Philippines number 7 out number 19 Rhea Dimaculangan in number 12 out number 15 we need a lot Gonzaga more of those combination in. plays but we've had two successful ones so far and now Coach Shaq making an adjustment Dimakulangan and Gonzaga are now in for Morado and Paat. We need everything in our arsenal right now, a full front line at this point in time. And a service ace at that by Rhea Dimakulangan. Anton, what a way to enter the court, building up your confidence. Timeout, Indonesia. And that is why Indonesia calls a timeout two straight points from the Philippines. Still six points up, but not taking any chances. It's not over until the scoreboard says 25 or at least two points higher than your opponent. Maraming pwedeng mangyari. And if that's one thing that we've learned last night is anything can happen. Anything is possible. Basta may puso talaga ng Pilipino. Megawati against three blockers. And that's just the talent that this spiker possesses. It was actually the Philippines who took the first set. 
in the previous match against this Indonesian squad. Indonesia trying to return the favor here. But Megawati could not return the ball to the other side. Another point for the Philippines. They have to keep that same energy. And not be discouraged whatsoever. Indonesia, no matter what happens. At number 18, Novia Andrianti in. No ball dropping in the court of Indonesia. Everybody scrambling to get that ball. Well placed. Drop shot. More uh, technique on that one rather than power. Molina with a service error. Seven-point lead for Indonesia. Here in the first set, this is the battle for bronze. Later on, we have the gold medal match between Thailand and Vietnam. Valdez coming in with a lot of steam. And our first referee says point to the Philippines. But will there be a challenge? Way above the blockers there. It was clearly an inside ball. No challenge there by Indonesia. Good to see Eliza Valdez back with the same intensity and the same fire that we've seen her in the last games as well. Already exceeding her output from the previous game. Baron on the quick attack. Now the Philippines moving more fluidly. Valdez on the drop. Back to back points for Eliza. Smart move there. She knew there was blockers in front of her, Anton. And why not go for that drop shot? Palabang pag si Eliza Valdez ang katapat mo, babantayan mo yung malakas na palo. But you have to shock also the defense of your opponent by changing and mixing up your technique. And we saw the reaction of the Indonesian players after Valdez was able to outsmart them with that drop ball. Maranyo gets that one in. Running attack is coming. Blockers were there. Is it on the line? Yes, it is. Great timing there by Eliza Valdez. Her third straight point in this rally, Anton. And we're right back on the scoreboard. Only four points behind. Ang laki na ng labang ng Indonesia kanina. But hindi nagpapatalo itong Team Philippines. A single block by Valdez. Back row attack. And when Indonesia needs a point, they go to number three, Megawari. From the back row as well, Anton. I mean, this girl, she's only six feet. It's not that high, especially in women's. You have Majoy Baron, who also stands at the so same height, probably. But when she jumps and the power, and when she reaches for that ball, iba talaga yung taas niya Number over the blockers of the out. Philippines. Number 15, Hani Budiati in. Annie Budyarty returns for Novia after that brief stint. Tisha. Sinigurado. Gonzaga on her first spike does not work. This time, Valdez will try. Indonesia able to pop it back up. Arado punches it. Valdez tosses it to the other side. The rally continues. Arado keeps it alive. Valdez! And she gets roofed. Way far from the net. That set, na timing and talaga ng Indonesia blockers. Way to be going inside. We put Yarti. Who just That's, checked back in. Who just subbed sub in. Good read by Kat Arado. Substitutions for the Philippines. That we need a full front line for the Philippines right now. Another point for Indonesia, Hani Budyarti. Right off from a substitution, back-to-back -back points for her. Meron pa rin space sa gitna ng dalawang blockers ng Philippines na nakahanap ng mga spikers ng Indonesia. Megawati was going through that block. And now Hani Budyarti taking advantage of the space in between. Foot violation called on Ratri on that jump serve. 
stepping on the line. Na mukhang may iniintang uh, sakit sa calf muscle on her left calf muscle ang kapitana ng Indonesia, Wilda Fadila. As we saw in the background, she's being attended to. Megawati gets roofed! What a block there by Majoy Baron Anton. First block for Megawati. Now that we have a much taller blocker in front, Majoy Baron Mylene Paat. Just in time, checking in for the Philippines, putting us one point more in the scoreboard. Now let's see if that energizes our ball club. This time, Megawati goes down the line, switching it up, and leads Indonesia to its first set point here in this match. What a quick adjustment there, going down the line. She knows na natapatan na siya dun sa cross court that she tried previously. Now changing it up and scoring another point. Quick decision making. But sends it back Indonesia. Megawati way underneath the ball on that hit. Scrambling to get that ball. Saving the Philippines at set point. Majoy Baron, who earlier got that monster block on Megawati, will serve it up for the Philippines. And we just had too many service errors, Michelle, in this first set. It really will cost us, Anton, especially now. We're playing for the bronze. Indonesia is not taking us lightly. It's 